Good day everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel guys. And before anything else, I just want to shout out uh, sa mga subscriber ko, sa mga nagda-like, sa mga nagko-comment and nag-share ng YouTube channel ko. And thank you for your support guys and uh, magbubutihan ko pa para makapag-share ako ng ideas and uh, basic knowledge uh, regarding sa kinuha kong course. So in today's video, uh, we will gonna talk about on how to boxing the compass. So this is the uh, intercardinal direction, okay? Uh, those quadrant. So paano nga ba siya ma-memorize? Paano nga ba natin matatandaan yung mga uh, quadrant and also those direction na magagamit natin, especially in, uh, when it comes to navigation, uh, meteorology, and something na related sa boxing the compass or itong tinatawag natin compass rose. So, tituro ko din sa inyo yung uh, strategy ko uh, kung paano natin ma-identify yung pinaka-respective uh, direction na yun at para magawa natin ng maayos so, tituro ko sa inyo yung technique na ginagamit ko yung padrid strategy. Video ko lang. So, ito yung figure 8 strategy or figure 8 technique. So, let's go! So, again guys uh, good day everyone so, um, in today's video nga, ang gagawin natin is yung boxing the compass. So, uh, I'll teach you on the on how to boxing the compass in simplest way possible. So, especially those um, cardinal direction like north, east, west, south. Okay, so, um, to make it easier to remember, so, my mnemonic phrase is never eat sugar water. Or pwede rin kayong gumawa ng uh, sarili nyong phrases, uh, discretion nyo na, kung paano nyo matatandaan yung cardinal direction natin. Pero ito lang naman yun. Kung babasahin mo ng pa ganun, pa sigsag, so news, yan. Uh, hilaga, uh, timog, silangan, kanluran. So, ganun lang sa. Okay, so let's proceed here. Okay, so the cardinal direction, sabi nga dun, is separated by how many degrees? So, 90. So, first quadrant, 90 degrees. Second quadrant, 90 degrees. Third quadrant, 90 degrees din. And yung fourth quadrant is 90 degrees. So, sa buong bilog na yan, is it, uh, equivalent to 360 degrees. So, each point na makikita natin dito sa compass rows is consists of 11.250. Each point yan. So, yung kabuuan natin is 32 points. So, ayan, nilagyan ko na siya ng uh, mga numbers para mas mabilis yung ma-identify. So, kapag kami multiply natin ng 11.250 sa 32 points, ang kalalabasan yan is 360. So, walang labis, walang kulang, talagang sakto lang po siya as 360. Okay, so it is secondarily divided by four ordinal direction. So, sir, ano ba yung uh, ordinal direction? So, yung ordinal direction is commonly known as intercardinal direction. So, ano-ano nga ba to? So, yung intercardinal direction is yung like uh, northeast, southeast, um, southwest, and northwest. So, paano natin na-obtain yan? So, na-obtain natin yan by simply pagsamahin natin yung dalawang cardinal direction in first quadrant also with the second quadrant ayan nakuha natin yung southeast third quadrant nakuha natin yung southwest pinagsama natin yung south and west sa fourth quadrant naman ganun din pagkasamay mo lang yung uh, it, uh, cardinal direction ng fourth quadrant which is north and west so nakuha natin yan so paano naman natin makukuha yung mga nasa gilid which is may mga point so yan yung tinatawag nating additional vector so, first thing to do, i-list muna natin itong tatlo na nasa first quadrant. Okay? North, Northeast, and East. So, ito yung tinatawag nating figure 8 strat. Ayan. So, yung uh, first thing to do para makuha natin yung first vector is step 1. Mula kay North, papunta kay East. Ayan. So, yan yung first natin ha. Ngayon, nakuha na natin siya, ilagay natin siya dito. Ang ilalagay natin dito is North by east. So, next step naman. Mula kay north, papunta kay northeast. Ayan. So, second. So, north, northeast. Okay. Pang third natin is north, northeast. So, yung fourth naman. So, mula naman kay northeast, papunta kay north, pataas. Ayan. Yan yung third natin. 
So, north east by north. So, ilalagay natin yan. North east by north. So, next naman yung NE. So, paano nakuha yung NE? So, ito na siya. Kukunin mo lang sa middle. So, ayan yung pang fifth vector natin. Yung intercardinal direction. So, next uh, vector. Mula kay north east papunta sa baba. Ayan. North east by east. Ano siya, diba? Madali lang. Next is, pataas ulit. Okay, tulad lang din yung kanina. So, ito yung port. Ito yung keep. So, east, north, east. Ayan. East, north, east. And then, yung last natin. Mula kay east, papunta naman tayo sa taas. Ayan. East by north. Okay. Yan, tinata yan yung tinatawag nating figure 8 strategy. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa number 8, vector east by north, then dito naman north by east. So, reciprocal lang nila magkabalik tayo ng sila. So, ganun yung sinasabi kong figure 8 strat. So, continue natin. Okay. So, natapos na tayo sa first quadrant. Ngayon naman, magkuproceed na tayo dito sa second quadrant. So, ilista ulit natin itong tatlo. East, south east, tsaka south. Okay. So, same pattern pa rin. Okay, so yung paano yung first step natin? So, mula kay east, papunta kay south. Ayan. East by south. Next is, mula kay east, papunta kay south east. Ayan. East, south east. Pangatlo, papunta naman kay east. Pabalik lang. South east by east. Okay. South east by east. Then, yung Uh, pang-apat natin is ito. Itong nasa gitna. So, na nakalagay na siya yung intercardinal direction natin. So, next is mula kay south is pababa naman. South is by south. Okay? South is by south. Next naman, pakiat. Yan. South, south is. South, south is. And then mula kay south, pakiat naman tayo kay is. Yan. Yan yung figure 8 strategy. Napakadali. Ayan, di ba? South by East. Okay, so natapos na tayo sa second quadrant. Magproceed na tayo sa third quadrant. So, ilagay lang natin itong tatlo. South, Southwest, and West. Okay. Yes. So, yung first step, ganun pa rin. Ayan. South by West. South by West. Second. Ayan. South, Southwest. Third, southwest by south, ayan, southwest by south, then yung uh, pang-apat, ito, southwest intercardinal direction. Okay, so, pababa tayo, southwest by west, ayan, southwest by west, ayan, tapos, pocket naman, west, southwest, west, southwest, And then, mula kay west, papunta naman tayo kay south. So, mula dito, papunta kay south. So, west by south. Ayan. West by south. So, yung last quadrant natin is itong fourth. So, kunin natin to West, northwest, and north. Okay? West, northwest, and north. Okay? Ganun lang din. First step. Ganyan lang. Okay? West by north. West by North Second Ayan West North West West North West Third North West by West Ayan North West by West Then yung pang-apat Ito Intercardinal direction natin Nakalagay na siya Then Pababa na tayo North West by North Ayan North West by North Next is north northwest north northwest then yung pinakalas natin is mula kay north papunta naman sa west pataas so north by west okay so that's all guys uh, thank you for watching and listening to my um, demonstration regarding dito sa boxing the compass and i hope na naintindihan niyo yung uh, pagpapaliwanag ko And at the same time, apply nyo to sa navigation and other subject na related sa tinuro ko kanina. So, yun lang. Keep safe and God bless. So, sa mga hindi pa nagsasubscribe dyan, uh, guys, subscribe na kayo. Like, comment, and share. Thank you so much.